explain these races. What kind of racing are you talking about? I set the course over there with stakes in the ground. It's too narrow to race directly, so I time it with sand gloves. You try to ride the course before I call time. Oh fuck, I'm horrible at races in game. I'll try one. Uh, this is gonna be like riding a mount in Skyrim. That one? Please be that one. Oh god, I'm already fucking up. Oh, oh god, no. No. Jesus Christ. Okay. I hated that. I hated all of that. Where is she? Sienna, please come back. Will I make it? Probably not. <gasps> oh, right in the nick of time. That was great. <sighs> do I have to do another one for it? Set up the next course. Great. Go get mounted. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Ha 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 ha. another race. No, no more races, Sienna. I'm done. We're done here. Okay, where are we going? We're going. I've already fucked it up. Oh my god. Move. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna Skyrim it. Okay, there's a rift right there. Um, do I want to fight these? No, nah, not right now. from all of this is that a lot of these things I should really look up the levels and I should probably do the main quest line because that's probably what it's meant to be I'm back bitches apparently they, I mean, there's another meeting having the herald address the clerics is not a terrible idea you can't be serious Mother Giselle isn't wrong. At the moment, the Chantry's only strength is that they are united in opinion. And we should ignore the danger to the Herald. Let's ask him. This may not actually... I don't know. Okay. They've called us heretical. However, most people who don't believe that I am the Herald don't know that I can close like the rifts and it looked and by context clues on the map there is a rift sign so with my powers of deduction <laughs> if if I go over there and close that rift I should be fine and they'll believe me it is already too late. God damn the Templars. They will face this Inquisition and the people will be saved once more. <gasps> Still yourself. She is beneath us. What the fuck? 
I don't like this dude. No, I don't. And why are you here? If you're not here to help the Chantry, then you just came to make speeches. I came to see what frightens old women so, and to laugh. We traveling. <laughs> if I might have a moment of your time. Oh. Grand Enchanter Fiona. Leader of the Mage Rebellion. Is it not dangerous for you to be here? I heard of this gathering, and I wanted to see the fabled Herald of Andraste with my own eyes. If it's help with the breach you seek, perhaps you should look among your fellow mages. We got here. Lord Trevelyan of Ostwick, representing the Inquisition. A pleasure, sir. We so rarely have a chance to meet anyone new. It is always the same crowd at these parties. So you must be a guest of Madame de Fer. Or are you here for Duke Bastien? Are you here on business? I have heard the most curious tales of you. I cannot imagine half of them are true. Madame de Fer? I'm not familiar with that name. I was invited here by First Enchanter Vivienne. Madame de Fer is a font nickname the court has given Lady Vivienne. Ah. So, what have you heard about me? Some of those storytellers may have gotten carried away. But only for the best effect. The Inquisition is a ripe subject for wild tales. The Inquisition? What a lot of big shit. Who is this? Washed up sisters and crazed seekers. No one can take them seriously. Uh, sir? If you were a man of honor, you'd step outside and answer the charges. Ah! My dear Marquis, how unkind of you to use such language in my house to my guests. <sighs> so this is... This is Vivian. Uh, Madame Vivienne, I humbly beg your pardon. You should. <laughs> Whatever am I going to do with you, my dear? I love her. <laughs> I am Vivienne, first enchanter of Montsimard and enchantress to the Imperial Court. A pleasure to meet you. Charmed, Lady Vivienne. Ah, but I didn't invite you to the chateau for pleasantries. With divine Justinia dead, the Chantry's in shambles. Only the Inquisition might restore sanity and order to our frightened people. As the leader of the last loyal mages of Thedas, I love her outfit, though. I feel it only right that I lend my assistance to your cause. Is this business or pleasure? Sir. <laughs> you are a gay man. Listen, I don't know why I keep asking. I'm or, I'm gonna say yes no matter what. Welcome aboard, Vivian. The Inquisition will be happy to have you, Lady Vivian. Great things are beginning, my dear. I can promise you that. <laughs> There's a shield in your hand. Block with it. If this man were your enemy, you'd be dead. Lieutenant, don't hold back. The recruits must prepare for a real fight, not a practice one. Yes, Commander. We've received a number of recruits, locals from Haven and some pilgrims. None made quite the entrance you did. I'm glad I'm here. I just hope I can help. As do we all. It is enough that you would try. I was recruited to the Inquisition in Kirkwall myself. I was there during the Mage Uprising. I saw firsthand the devastation it caused. Sir. Cassandra sought a solution. When she offered me a position, I left the Templars to join her cause. Now it seems we face something far worse. I like your enthusiasm. No, but if you have one prepared, I'd love to hear it. <laughs> Another time, perhaps. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> I, uh... <clears throat> There's still a lot of work ahead. Well, we, 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 we ruffled him. <laughs> Okay, you guys are gonna hate me, but my IBS is calling me. <laughs> I will be right back. <laughs> 